Is Bitcoin going to test its support at $40,700 or is it ready to break through the resistance level pegged at $44,500 and go bullish again? Stay tuned as we talk about events and analyze charts that may tell us where Bitcoin is headed next. It's Joel Peterson here from The Crypto Code bringing you your latest Bitcoin and crypto market insights. Love our content? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on our market updates. And hey, why not join our free Telegram and Facebook groups for daily trading insights and top-notch crypto education? All for free. If you're curious about how we profit in the crypto markets, whether they're soaring or plummeting, and want to know more about our automated strategies, be sure to check out our free workshop. As a fun bonus, workshop attendees who take a quick quiz at the end will receive $10 in Bitcoin from us, no strings attached, just our way of saying thanks. Check out the workshop page for more details. You'll find links to the workshop, our Telegram, and our Facebook groups right down in the video description. Now let's jump into today's market report. A quick reminder, everything we discuss is just our opinion. We're not financial advisors, so please do your own research. You know how it goes. Okay. Let's start things off by taking a look at what's going on in the crypto space today. For starters, Bitcoin took a little dip, but was able to hold around the 43,000 level. Meanwhile, we have Ethereum, which has been doing well lately and was up by about 2% trading just above the 2,300 level. Recent news about Ledger's connector library hacking has caused the cryptocurrency market to fall earlier today. Bitcoin did surge earlier when we saw it go above the $43,000 level. The Federal Reserve's decision to maintain interest rates as well as earlier reports about potential cuts in the upcoming year were the main drivers of this. We're also hearing about U.S. companies eyeing crypto adoption following a new accounting rule change that lets companies accurately reflect the value of their crypto holdings. Obviously, this news also has a positive impact on crypto prices. At the moment, Bitcoin is experiencing strong resistance at $44,500. However, it does have some strong support at $40,700. We're also hearing analysts predict a rally to $50,000 to grab retail attention before eventually cooling down. Now let's take a peek at the crypto code trading dashboard. Uh, for those of you who are new to this channel, this tool is a game changer. It tells you when to buy, sell, go long or short with great accuracy. On the one day chart, we are looking at Bitcoin still in the green zone. It's trending up with a 53% chance of an upward movement. On the weekly chart, it says here that Bitcoin is on an uptrend, but with a 99% chance of a downward movement. Switching over to the Renko one day chart for Bitcoin, it's currently in the green zone, which means we're looking at an uptrend. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the Renko chart, green means go long and red means go short. If we take a look at the fear and greed index, we're currently at 70, which indicates greed in the market. Time to think about cashing in some of those gains you made. Moving on, Let's take a quick look at the crypto bubble chart. Today, we have Bonk, HNT, and Wu as the top performers. We're looking at mostly green dominating with a few blips of red across the board. Okay guys, let's take a short break from the charts and I would also like to take this opportunity to give a quick shout out to some of our amazing crypto code students who are making a killing at the markets. First up, we have George, who made a 17.41% win on a 1 USDT long trade. Way to go, George. Next, we have Deanna, who made a massive 210.08% win on a Beam USDT trade. Great win, Deanna. Lastly, we have Scott, who made $47.38 on a Link USDT trade. Great job, Scott. Keep those wins coming, guys. You can see more success stories like these inside our members area. To join them, just register for our free workshop. Links in the description. And remember, we're giving away $10 in Bitcoin just for participating and taking a short quiz. All right, back to the charts. Let's take a look at the one day chart for some of our favorite altcoins on the crypto code. First up, we have Ethereum, which has been in the green zone since November 10th. It's also displaying a 54% chance of an upward movement. Next, we have Solana, which has been in the green zone since October 23rd. It's currently trending up and is indicating a 54% chance of an upward movement. Last but not least, we have Injective, also in the green zone since October 23rd and trending up. However, keep an eye on this as the chart indicates a 99% chance of a downward movement. Let's wrap up today's episode by taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation levels heat map. Looking at the 12 hour liquidation levels for Bitcoin, we are seeing it hovering around the $43,000 range. The chart is also indicating a potential path to reach the $44,000 mark. 
the crypto code trading dashboard is a game changer. It would have tipped you off to buy Bitcoin at $15,500 and to sell at the peak of the last bull market. Imagine having a tool like that. Our mission at The Crypto Code is to guide you through the crypto markets, focusing on consistent profits, whether the market's up or down, through trading and automation. Interested? Check out our workshop and grab your free $10 in Bitcoin for joining and taking part in a fun quiz. No purchase is needed. Workshop, Telegram, and Facebook group links are all in the video description. Thanks for tuning in to today's market report. If you want more content like this, give us a like, hit subscribe, and turn on those notifications. This is Joel from The Crypto Code. Take massive action in life at whatever you do. Catch you in the next video.